Pickle. Congratulations on the win. I guess huge week and there was so much talk I guess from us before the game about being season defining game for you guys if you really responded. Tell me how you assess the game, how you're feeling now. Yeah, thanks, Em. Like, I think there was a sense of relief at the end of the game, but also um, a sense of pride that we got through that week together. And I think we did draw a line in the sand after that game and just said, if we play our best netball, we can beat any team in this competition. So um, the journey starts now and we've started it really well. There's so much talk about the superstars in your team, but then you've got someone coming in like Lisa, you've got um, Tara Hinchliffe and Ash Urban, who were probably your three best players out there today. Tell me about that. How is it to see these players come through and just, you know, handle at the top, top level? Yeah, that was the plan with the recruitment, I think. Um, we always knew that we had attracted some really good players, but um, we wanted to really develop the youth. And I think we've got exciting youth and they're all growing from strength to strength each game. And I agree, they were all fantastic today. And Lisa's birthday <laughs> and best on, so well done. <laughs> Thanks, Vee. Your starts to each quarter were really impressive. So was that an area of focus for you guys? Yeah, we wanted to start really well. We knew that um, Vixens were that formidable outfit and that they would respond. But um, I think just the confidence we took in our preparation this week to start every quarter really well. I think the girls really took on their role for the team, but also the game plan and attack the contest. You look like in a lot of areas you kind of beat the Vixens at their own game. They're known for being so clinical and the way that you guys moved it in the attack line at times just looked beautiful. Was that a focus as well? And yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> no, 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 um, I think um, our attack has been humming. I think all of our numbers were telling us that we were one of the top teams in our attack for the year. I think some in some of the game we got on top of each other and got the Vixens into it. But I think when we use the width and the depth and our ball speed that our attack is really great. And I think defensively we did smother them and I think um, we did our homework on the opposition and it came off today. Um, Tara was mentioned earlier. How did you see her game specifically coming in as someone who had to fill massive shoes in Courtney's? Oh, I think Tara's a fantastic player. She's got great experience. She reads the play really, really well. And I think the beauty about our defenders is they all bring something very differently. And so I never, ever compare the, them, just ask for them to play their role for the team. And I th thought um, Tara did a great job tonight. I can't even count how many games she got. So, yeah, she did a great job. Are you going to enjoy this win a bit? You've been through a damn hard start to the season. Are you going to actually allow yourselves to enjoy this and then get on with it? Or do you go straight to, you know, the Queensland Derby next week? And start what are we doing, Lise? Um, <laughs> yeah, of course we're going to enjoy it. Um, it's a win from a very big couple of weeks, so obviously enjoy it. And then when we get back on Monday, we're going to knock in and deal with the upcoming Firebirds game, which is you can say we're going to celebrate it. We're absolutely yeah. going to celebrate it tonight and tomorrow, and Monday starts again. Yes. Um, is this, firstly, happy birthday, Lisa. Oh, thank you. Um, secondly, is this win extra special because it's the first for the year? for the first loss for the year for the Vixens and after the week you've had and, and just everything built up to, to the game? Um, yeah, I think it is very special. Each win, I think, at an SSS level is a really special moment. Um, but, yeah, we've had a couple of big weeks, so to just get a win under our belt is just always a nice feeling at the end of the day. Lastly, a lot of emotion in this game today and then turning to playing against the Firebirds. You always want to be on a home state. Will there be another emotional game with fire in the belly? You guys, sorry, just one thing. It's like your pickups and everything today. You can see that hunger out there, which may have been missing at the start. Do you feel like that's going to flow through again? Yeah, obviously, of course. We're going to obviously do what we did last week at training and hopefully bring that to the Firebirds because we have heaps of friends, which makes it even more even more rivalry. But, yeah, so hopefully we do the same next week. Well, we love the rivalry with yeah. the Firebirds. It's, um, you know, it's, it's been long-standing. You know, a lot of the girls are great mates, but I think it will be exactly like tonight as soon as we cross that line. We're really gunning for that win and, and we need them like obviously you know to get back into the winning um, spot tonight um, we know that we put that line in the sand and it's onwards and upwards and if we play our best netball we're capable of winning that game also. Sorry just one more from me. How are Ava and Courtney tracking and how long till they're back? Yeah, look, we um, are assessing them week to week, but um, we've got some really good news on both of them. So um, probably fast-tracked from what we initially thought, um, but again, we'll meet with the medical team this week and get an exact time frame on them back. But um, I think for now, the girls have just got to 
you know, play their role. And yeah, we're really excited when we do get them back though. Congrats. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>